Hi everyone, I just wanted to share a bit of breaking news with you. So AWS have recently announced that they've updated or they will be updating the AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Associate Exam. So it's moving from the SOA C01 to the SOA C02, so there's a new version. Now that in itself isn't amazing news, but the interesting part of it is that AWS are introducing something called Exam Labs. So that means as part of the exam, along with the multiple choice questions that you normally get, you'll also have a component of the exam that is hands-on in nature. So you'll actually have a hands-on exercise to complete in the AWS Management Console or the AWS CLI. So that's something completely new for AWS. Other vendors have been doing things like this for years, but AWS have not done it before. So it certainly adds an extra dimension to the whole testing process that it's not just about answering questions now, you actually have to put your hands-on into practice and prove that you've got some hands-on skills on AWS. So that probably makes it a little bit more difficult. I think this is a good development. Now we don't know yet whether AWS are going to expand this to other certifications over time. I suspect they will. But I think it does add a bit more value to our certifications if they prove that we've got that hands-on ability. So that overall is a good thing. So we don't know too much more about it at this stage. We don't know how many labs there are going to be. AWS state in the exam guide that you'll need about 20 minutes per exam lab. But they don't tell you how many you're going to have or how many questions. They actually say that at the beginning of the test, you'll find out how many questions and how many exam labs you're going to need to complete. Now there is a bit more information in the exam guide for the SOA C02 and there's also a sample questions document and in the sample questions document you'll see some sample questions they're very similar to the CO1 to be honest but then they also give you an example of a scenario that you'd need to complete in an exam lab. Now I've written up a blog article as well, I link to the exam guide and the sample questions and just give you my thoughts and feelings about the new developments. So look, the key things to take away are there's a new exam coming, the beta is going to be in 2021, so there's going to be a period of usually at least a couple of months where they're going to have the beta running and you'll still be able to take the old, the current version of the exam. Once the beat is complete, at some point they're going to cut over and you're no longer going to be able to take the current exam. So that could be a few months into 2021, so there's plenty of time at this stage. So for now, carry on studying the way you're studying. There's no changes to the CO1. There's definitely not going to be any addition of exam labs in the current version of the exam. That will only be in the new version of the exam. Now in terms of the domains and the topics that are going to be included in the new version, they have changed a bit. There's six domains now rather than seven. They also give you a good breakdown of the services and features that are going to be included and tested on. So that's a new development because previously AWS are always quite vague. They don't really tell you specifically which services and features they're going to test on. But now they've got a bit more specific, which helps you in terms of knowing what you need to study. So that's it for now. I just wanted to give you an update. Again, don't worry about it. If you're taking the SysOps Administrator exam within the next few months, then you'll be fine. You can do the current version of the exam. And once I've done the beta, I'll definitely do it in the new year when it comes out. I'll give you some more feedback on my experience. And sometime into 2021, there will be that cutover, but that's a few months away at this stage. So I hope that was helpful. If you found this helpful, then please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.